problem with access to fresh food in St. Paul's being made worse tonight. Lunds and Byerly's is cutting hours at its downtown location. And now people who live there are wondering how far they'll have to go to get groceries. Ben Henry joins us live from St. Paul and then providers are now considering their own plans to help those living downtown. Yep, they're doing what they can. You know, at this hour, for the thousands that call downtown home, they'll have to leave it if they want to go to a grocery store. It's not a problem that's unique to the neighborhood, but it is one that is growing more worrisome. When Lunds and Byerly's came to town, those who called downtown St. Paul home welcomed the grocery store with open arms. I've always liked the store. I'm glad they finally got a store downtown. They needed one for years. I really love this place. That's why news of it opening later and closing earlier isn't sitting well. I feel like it's a place that really brings the community together, so it's very sad to see that the hours are being cut. Is it tough to find fresh food downtown? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> In a statement, the Minnesota-based grocery chain said to continue to keep its tradition of clean, well-maintained and safe stores for shoppers and workers. The downtown St. Paul location will soon open at 10 in the morning and close at 7. 10 in the morning is kind of rough. Right now, daily hours are 7 a.m. to 9 at night. One of the things about living downtown is that you want to be able to walk to things. Molly Wood says this is not the first time she's seen the store reduce hours. Now, she says she's worrying about its staying power. This creates a kind of a food desert down here. We've seen more and more of these sorts of food deserts over the Twin Cities in the last couple of years. It's a problem. Second Harvest Heartland is keeping close eyes on. This issue impacts folks that use public transportation, also impacts seniors and those with mobility issues. As one of Minnesota's largest hunger relief organizations, they make sure communities in need know they're there for them. I think our role in this is really to listen to partners, see what they're hearing, listen to neighbors, and then figure out what, where we can best support. Lunds and Byerly's adding they're confident the shift will help with the store's financial sustainability. Yeah, Neighbors hoping that's true. It should be really interesting to see in the next few years what happens. More changes as part of this will be seen on this story on the KSTP app. I did speak with the St. Paul Police Department today. They have had an officer inside the store for years from open to close, something they say they will continue to do with these changes. Those new hours kick in on Monday. Live in St. Paul, Ben Henry, 5 Eyewitness News.